Middle school students in Utah have had enough with their fellow classmates identifying as animals and acting like animals and dressing up as animals or furries, really, to be more specific, when they come to school. And so they had a protest the other day, and it's making national headlines. And it wasn't just a few students. It was a lot of them. Get a load of this. We the people, not the animals. Somebody was telling me that there were the furries were attacking you guys in class. Is that right? Yes. They bite. They bite kids. They bite ankles. They bite people. They bite. They will bite ankles. Bite they bite bite ankles. They they bite how do they bite they your ankle? Why, they why would they? They walk on all fours, run down the hall, and bite scratch people. I have your shoes and then bite people. So the liberal media and school officials are doing damage control, claiming that this is all just fake news and that there is no evidence of furries in the Nebo school district, despite the allegations and the social media firestorm. We begin in Payson, where a group of about 75 protesters showed up to Nebo Middle School today. Good. They say it's an issue over students who call themselves furries. But how much of that discontent is fueled by rumor? Our Sarah Murphy asked that question. She's here with what she found out. Sarah, what's this all about? It's about prejudice. The students aren't being inclusive enough for their fellow furry identifiers. All right, Brian. Well, the term furry, it refers to someone interested in animals with human qualities. Now, it refers to crazy people. They dress up like this as a cartoon version of an animal. Now, we've learned there have been reports at Nebo Middle School that students are getting mistreated over this topic. There's a lot of speculation surrounding the protest that happened at Nebo Middle School Wednesday morning. Nearly 75 students and parents showed up facing the school, saying they're unhappy with how administration is handling reports of harassment. Here's one of them now. You guys cannot record me without my permission. This is video a Nebo Middle School student took last week. Parents say there's, there's the tail. Did you see that? An issue between some students and others who call. So other kids are just videotaping these weirdos to put them on TikTok and be like, hey, we got some furries at our school. And so the furries are getting upset. Selves furries or people who enjoy dressing up as cartoonish animals. Here's more footage of the furries. <laughs> okay. Now, you might say that they're just playing around, that they're just pranking other students, but they're not. I'm not sure if this is the same school or not, but here's Tyrone stumbling across one. Hey, Bark! Oh, hell no. Nah. Y'all niggas wildin' on my mama. Do, do not make fun of it. What the f***? Talking about do not make fun of this. What the f*** is this? Y'all niggas doing this in public? <laughs> Everyone what? wanted to walk me by the buses. You want to treat to it? I got you. Without a doubt, these are rainbow people. So now we should just refer to them as the LGBTQF community. Here's just more photos of kids at various schools dressing up as animals. Here's one showing off her tail collection. And there's a link in the YouTube video to the Etsy store where she bought them. Obviously, a rainbow person. More pictures of the furries inside the classroom. How this is allowed is a mystery. Another video of a student proudly wearing their tail in school. Now, I could see dressing up as a cartoon character for Halloween or at Comic-Con or maybe even, maybe even to a movie premiere or a sequel of a popular film series. Sometimes nerds do that. But this kind of attire at a school should be banned and these kids should be put into mental institutions. And sadly, this is not just a few isolated instances. This is happening in schools across the country because the kids learn about it on TikTok. And so last year, a school in Florida voted to ban furry attire. I can't believe I have to say this out loud, but the furry dress attire. That the school dress code up for debate in Brevard County. According to some board members, some students are raising concerns about their classmates attire. They say some kids are dressing and acting like animals. 
fact, there are children in our schools that are dressing as animals. Um, and that. This is a school board member. Sounds innocent when you say it out loud, uh, but there are things like dog leashes and collars and walking a child as though they're an animal and tails that are tripping hazards. Yeah, they're called furries. And it's the most, to be honest with you, it's an anomaly that I didn't have when I was in school and I'm sure you didn't either. Correct, we were normal back in the 90s and this kind of behavior was thankfully contained to the Jerry Springer show where it belongs. But there is a silver lining to this insanity because this time it's not just parents showing up at school board meetings and sounding off about what's happening in the classroom. It's the students themselves. They, they had to follow the district policy. The district policy is no more, no extra jewelry, no, no inappropriate things. And all the furries are doing that, but they don't care. They're yelling people's face. They suspend kids that aren't, aren't doing anything wrong, but the furries get, get rewarded. Who's, who's doing that? The, the, the principal Mount Lebo Middle School? Yes, the, Mount, the, the principal and uh, Mr. Mortensen. But it's happening everywhere. It's happening in the junior high. It's happening in the high school. It's not fair. Kids are kids are getting bullied. What they, makes they, you say this is happening in the junior high and high school? Because my sisters are there. They're, they're twins. They're there. And they ha it happens all the time. So the furries are above the law. There's strict dress codes about no distracting clothing or jewelry, but because the furries now are part of the LGBTQF community, they are exempt from the rules. Remember this story from eight years ago now about the girl who identified as a cat? And a lot of YouTubers covered this. It even made it onto Inside Edition, which is kind of a sensationalistic infotainment show. But this was when the liberal pandemic started to spiral out of control. And it went from just a few isolated instances like this, some eccentric weirdos posting videos, to, as you heard those kids say, it's now all over the schools. The middle schools, the high schools, it's across the entire country. A woman in Norway believes she belongs to a different breed. She claims that she is a cat trapped in a human's body. I guess identifying as a gender non-binary person, a they-them, is just far too common, too normal in today's society these days. And so now the crazies are identifying as furries. Thankfully, there are millions of kids across the country who are fed up with this because they instinctually know that the insanity that the left is trying to force upon them is insanity. And so you're seeing things like this happen. I posted this clip. This was actually recorded and posted originally by a teacher, one of those teachers. And I posted this on my Locals page, but if you don't follow me over there, which you definitely should, click the link in the description below. Here it is in case you missed it. So I keep hanging these flags up and then I come back and someone's ripped the pole off or broken it in half, but look what someone wrote. <laughs> Who even says that? <laughs> well, sir, the kids who know that people like you shouldn't be anywhere around them. And you shouldn't be posting your symbols in public schools either. It's mine. It's not yours. I brought it in here. I hung it up. Why don't you go cry about it to your fellow furries? And in order to indoctrinate the kids into their cult, the rainbow teachers are playing propaganda pieces like this to elementary school kids. Hi, I'm Gulliver, and this is Emmett. Hey! <laughs> oh, hi. Notice his rainbow collar, of course. Hi, I I'm Barry. Oh, hey! <laughs> we are so excited you are here. We could use another dog. Wait for oh. it. We could use another dog, he said. <laughs> <laughs> nice collar! Mm. Oh, thank you. I mm. like it. So, what do you want to do first? Uh, find a chew toy? Oh, oh, chase our tail? Oh, I know. Let's sniff. Uh, no, actually, I, I like to play with yarn. He likes to knit. Yeah. It's what? fun. Yeah. yeah. Like or I, I like to clean my paws like this. Watch this. Uh, now. You clean your... Okay, this is played to elementary school kids. Yeah. yeah. Or, or, or we could practice purring like this. Purring? <gasps> oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. And we purring. could try to meow. Meow. <laughs> meow. <laughs> Okay, you see like where this that. is going, right? Um, it's great fun. You should try it. Uh, <laughs> Why not? A dog who thinks he's a cat, because this is the analogy that they're trying to brainwash the kids with. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. You're supposed to be accepting of this. It's normal. Just wait for it. Excuse me, would you? I, uh, I just, uh... 
You're a weirdo and I need to get away from you. I have to go for a second. I'll be right back. No problem. Miss Madison? Miss Madison? Oh, hey, Gulliver, you're back. Did you find Barry? Yeah, we've got to talk. He seems like a nice guy. Oh, great guy, great guy. He thinks he's a cat. He thinks he's a cat? Yeah, he's over there talking about yarn, and purring, woof, and licking. Well, that's okay, isn't it? What? Well, I, I think you should talk to him. About what? Well, about being more like a dog. Gulliver, you're really struggling with this. <sighs> oh, it's him who has the problem. It's weird. It's not weird, just different. Hmm? It's not weird, it's just different that a dog thinks it's a cat. Get it? I couldn't ask Barry to change who he is. That would make him really sad. Oh, but, but... Gulliver... Let's just accept the dog as the cat. Let's just accept the students as if they are dogs or cats. Gulliver, accepting people for who they are is a very important skill. Oof. We accept you for who you are. Oof. That's different. I'm a dog who acts like a dog. That's normal. Not normal, just more common. Oh, so it's not even normal anymore. <laughs> it's just more common. I don't understand. It's okay to have questions. Questions are good if they help you accept someone for who they are. No, I'm sorry. It's time we stop accepting crazy people in our schools, in our workplaces, in our communities, in our country, on our planet. And speaking of outer space, check out my new Total Eclipse 2024 shirt, which was inspired by that meme that Donald Trump posted about two weeks ago for the Total Eclipse, which caused the liberal media meltdown. Time Magazine said, Trump posts bizarre solar eclipse campaign ad, it was a meme, with his head blocking out the sun. Remember this? So I made my own and put it on a shirt, which you can order from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.